Uh, I mean, I've always really loved what she represents, I think, as a woman. You know, I think she had a very authentic voice and was very much her own person. And she had kind of this huge kind of creative power to her writing. And I just really felt like there was something in that that spoke to me. And I was interested in kind of sharing that with people in, in the story. And Emma, as Emily, is wonderful. What was your first initial reaction when you saw her in the role? Yeah, she she was one of the people that came in to read and she kind of just blew everybody away in the room. She was just so, um, she was just so real and so kind of um, her own person in a way that Emily was so, and she's such a brilliant actress as well. So I, I really feel like this part is a kind of meeting of uh, two really interesting people, Emma, Emma Mackey and Emily Ronte. Yeah. She, yeah, she's absolutely amazing. And what was it like filming in the Yorkshire Dales? I can see behind you the kind of moody Dales. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, like? yeah, I mean, it was great it, because it, it was after the second lockdown. So we'd all spend a lot of time at home. So to kind of be up on those Yorkshire moors with the wind in our hair, and I mean, it was brilliant. It was just loved it. I mean, I just lo I kind of fell in love with Yorkshire uh, during the filming of this. And were there any particularly challenging days on set? I know that the weather must have been quite difficult, but were there any days that you thought, oh, this is tough? There was one day where it started raining as we started filming and it rained till we finished, which was three o'clock in the morning. So we were just like soaked the whole day and it was uh, shooting like running sequences. So, you know, we had cameras on trucks kind of with the actors running. It was, yeah, that was quite a, a challenging day. But they're all kind of, it was, it was a tough shoot, but, um, but, but also really fun. But that was, that was quite challenging that day, I remember. Particular day on set, which you really enjoyed. And was there a lot of camaraderie because of those kind of tough conditions with the rain and stuff? I think so. I mean, the crew were just uh, predominantly like a Northern crew. So they're just like, just great people. And, um, and the actors were very close, I think, you know, we did a lot of rehearsals, so they all got to know each other. They all lived together in this lovely kind of country house in the middle of nowhere and cooked. And um, yeah, they had a, a lovely time together. So yeah, I think there were lots of different, I guess the mask scene was something that it was kind of very collaborative I and mean, it was all of us working together to try and make that scene work. So that, I remember that being quite special. Yeah. And when it comes to the actual character of Emily in this movie, now she's probably one of the, I guess, lesser known Bronte sisters. Um, what was it like for you to be able to really be creative with what you imagined her short life was like? Yeah. I mean, I feel like everything that we've kind of like pushed the boundaries on is kind of motivated by the themes in the film that are really kind of connected to her. So even though, I mean, there's a lot of things within the story that's completely on track and factual, but I feel like when we did kind of take license, it was still connected to how we wanted to explore who she was um, in terms of like, what do you do if you're an authentic person who has this kind of incredible voice, but no one really sees you or appreciates it? What, what, how, do you, how do you fulfill yourself? So I think the, the themes kind of tie into that, if that if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, absolutely does. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Um, now, this is a movie that I think will will do well in award season. Um, what would that mean to you if this was recognised in that way? I mean, I really made the film for, like, women of your generation and for, like, kind of young women who are kind of in the middle of this trying to work out who they are. So for me, it's like if we did kind of get any award traction it, and then that meant that it had more exposure to young people kind of coming out to see the film that would be great and um and you know i'm so proud of emma in this role and all the actors that did such beautiful work so for that to be recognized would be just you know icing on the cake i guess yeah ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you guys